Okay. Inequalities. Now, these, you have, have you ever seen these signs before? Yes. No. Yes. Okay, you've no, seen those never, signs never before. No, never, never seen it before. Have you ever seen this sign before? She didn't think she's first grade. No, yes, no. no. I, I have no idea yes. what that is. You don't have a clue? No. Well, no what is, what is this sign? Less than. Greater than. Greater than. Greater than. Or equal to. Equal to. If you put a line under your sign, it means equal to. Because what makes equal sign? Two lines. Then why can't so, you just put what do you think that one is? Less than, less than or equal to. Yeah. What? So you've got greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. I have a question. Like why can't you just put an... What, 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 what? Isn't that kind of pointless to do? No. I'm gonna, we're going to talk about inequalities. We're going to find out why this is used. But can't you right? just put an equal sign if it's equal instead of those two? But... What if you don't know? Okay, let me give you this. So your mom, your dad sends you in to the grocery store to buy a gallon of milk. It's going to cost three dollars and seventy-two cents. Does he know exactly how much it's going to cost? With taxes and everything. If he if he calculates, you say about. But he doesn't. He's sending you in to grab it. So it's going to. Therefore, it's going to be... So it's estimating? It is kind of. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it could be uh, right on. That's kind of like measuring. When you measure something, when we do circumference pretty quickly here coming up, when you are measuring, you're not always right on. Does anybody know the, the saying that carpenters use? About measuring? What is it, Miss Bethany? Measure twice, cut once. Measure twice, cut once. Why? Because if you get too short, you can't add on. You can't glue that back on there and hope you that your house stands up, right? You're going to have to go buy more lumber. Moses is going to be all right. Moses is going to make it, He's yeah. He's going to make it. He's going to make it, my brother. He does. He does. It also helps him. He's good. <laughs> so, this is the thing. We're going to talk about... Greater than, but here I said greater, yeah, greater than and equal to, less than and equal to. You got equal to, but you also have less than greater. This is too much. Less than or greater than. than. So, what is this sum? Less than. Less than. Less than. No, that's What's this sum? Greater than. I'll be writing them down. Some of y'all are not. don't need this to look back on. Absolutely. Like I'm psychic or something. Oh, she's psycho. No, I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> I'm no, teasing. Listen, now you've told all the things. I've told your secrets. Mine is somewhere. All right, what's this one? Less than or equal. Greater than or equal oh, to. Greater than or equal to. Yeah, that's right. greater. And then the next one is less than. Less than or equal to. I'm just putting less or equal. Does that work? Yep. And then I don't. I know most of you don't know this sign. Uh, equal to. Equal. I think that's. No, no, that's an apple. Uh, pie. Okay. Marty Painter. Miss Skinner? Yes. What about the equal to with a line in it? What yeah, does that so mean? I don't know. Equal, equal to. to. No, if this is what you get. Not equal to. Not equal to. Not equal to. Oh. You're not going to say that today, but I'm glad you asked that. We'll just go ahead and make a note of it. This just means not equal. Think about my whining sign. Do I want you to whine? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, how do you know? <laughs> it's got a line through it. Have you ever seen the smoking signs? Yeah. yeah. And then there's a big X through it? How many, how many places do you go in restaurants where there's a smoking sign now? Like every one of them. Oh, smoking sign? It looks no. like 
No. Without an egg through it? I've seen one before. I've never seen that. Like okay, not at restaurants. Okay? There's, they don't put them in restaurants anymore because it's against the law to smoke in restaurants. So, they're not going to put up a circle that says smoking across it because they're not advertising for you to smoke there. They will put up a circle, smoking, and then the big X through it. Okay? Because that means no. Yeah. Oh, what? what? I, know. I don't know. No, the no smoking signs. Oh, I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh, yeah. Okay, so chase that rabbit. Now, we're going to talk about inequalities. We're going to talk about inequalities today. They are not as hard as you're going to go, oh, I don't understand. So I'm going to give you this. X is less greater than... One. X is greater than one. Hold tight. This is looks Nope. <laughs> Give me a break. We don't know We it. have been using X all year long. You know a letter greater than sign, and that's just a baby one. That's an A That's this is our letter A, our number one. The number one question. Well, we don't know what X is. You don't know what X equals, but you know whatever X is, it's greater than one. It's greater than one. So it's so it could be two. X is either two or up. Or could it be one point one? Or that. <laughs> could it be point one? Couldn't it be one two? No. no, it can't be point one because that's bigger be than, than oh, yeah. one. Wouldn't you have to put like less than or equal? No, no, uh-uh. Well, you don't know what they are. But I know it's not going to be one. It's going to be two. Listen to what it is. 1.1. Listen. Could be 1.1. Listen. I'm going to show you and explain. This X is greater than one. It can't be one. But now, if I gave you this, if I gave you that, could it be one? Yes. Yes. Yeah, because it could be one because X is greater than or equal to one. So there is a little bit of a difference. Do you see there's a little difference? This one, nope, can't be one. This one, What's the point? it's a possibly be one. The point is, I'm having to teach you this. Why? <laughs> the point is, I don't know. I don't really know the point of this, but it, you're going to use it. It's going to be used in, from here on out in math, and next year, next year's really going to use it a lot, but Are they're going to complicate it more than I. Uh -oh. Are you ever going to use it, though? We're never going to use it. It's just the understanding of finding a value. There's going to be time. Some of you won't be, but accountants and things, you're going to have to find values of things or find how much you can use what if you don't use all of it i mean that's going to be a less than or greater than situation and i don't know that you're ever going to graph it because we're fixing to graph these mm -hmm. but just a number line gosh almighty shut your mouth that is true. not just yet hang tight mm -hmm. oh i thought you meant like graph as in uh one of those big old graph things. You're looking at the rate or something. No, 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 no. And I sh I've made this way too big, but. Now. It's just a number lock. Move your desk so you can. Okay, whatever. Now, I made a number line. <laughs> and I started with one. Because that was what X is going to be greater than. And then I just put two numbers on each side of the one. Okay? And that's all you have to do today is just put two numbers on both sides of the one. Now, we're going to plot this because X is greater than one. So we're going to plot it. I'm going to use an open circle. And what would be 
greater than one. What could X be that would be greater than one? Two, two or three. Two or three, four. See this Five. little arrow? It means it goes on forever. Anything that's higher than one. I have just plotted X is greater than one. I have just plotted X is greater than one. Because it um, got to go in the direction. It's got to go in the direction of greater. Okay? Now, look at this one. Oh, they're going to look the same thing when you plot them. No, they're not. No, they're not. Same number line will be fine. Same number line will be fine. But this says X is greater than or equal to. What do you think is going to be different here? It would probably have two on one. Oh, you think? Wait, if it was 1.1, 1 .1, it would still be greater than... It would still yeah, 1.1 1 .1 is would still, still greater. At the same time, right? It would still be equal because it's still one, right? No, because no, 1.1 1. 1. 1 is not equal to 1. Okay. So let me show you the difference. Watch, she's going to put two dots. Can anybody tell me what I did different? You, did, you, you oh, colored, colored the dot in. I colored the dot completely in. Well, what's, what's the reason? The reason is... If you're at an exact location, if your location is equal to this spot right here, what do you usually place there? It's a circle, a dot. Or does it have it hollowed? Bless you. On your maps. If you pulled it up on your maps on your phone, and you want to know where Mickey's school was, do they put a... a just a circle, or do they put a solid dot? They put a solid, no. they put a solid dot. little red dot because that could be the exact location. That could be the exact spot that you were in. Well, guess what? One could be X is greater than or equal to. It could be equal to that spot. It could be right at that spot. Could, could X is greater than one be one? No. It can be a round one, but it can't be one. Because I, I don't have my cell phone to text. I don't like yeah. Okay, so. That's going to be real hard to remember. But it's not. No, 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 no. <laughs> Line equals dot. <laughs> Everything is false. If you see, look, we'll even do it. We'll even put a circle here. Guess what this one's going to be? A dot. Is it going to be a dot? Yes. No. Then. It's going to be a circle, open circle. Is there an equal underneath it? No. No. What's this one going to be? A dot. A dot. Fill yes. in. That's right. What's this one going to be? A dot. a dot. Trick question. It's a dot. Fill in. Because it has equal. It could be that exact location. It could be that number. All right, let's do another one. Guys, keep this note to the top. Because you're going to know, you need to know when you're going to, it's going to be an open circle or a, or a darkened circle. Oh, okay. is that a negative number? It is. Okay. All we're doing, we're not solving anything at this point. We are not solving anything at this point. All we're doing at this point is graphing and plotting them on a number line. Okay? Yes, Moses. So basically, if it has a line under the greater than or equal to sign, it's a dot. Yes. And if it's you can't do that on the number line. Why can't you do that on a number line? Because negative one is the highest it goes. Well, no, that's. No, I can make a new number line. <laughs> I mean. I I'm not jumping you. Have to do this so what? What needs to be in the middle of my five dot lines here? Negative. Two. Negative two. Then it goes. Negative, negative one. Zero. Zero. One. 
give three. Maybe four. Maybe you couldn't see. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give it to you that you couldn't see. I'm gonna just assume Caleb sides could not see. Okay, good. That's what I'm going with. Okay. I need you guys to sign. I'm gonna scare away in it. I and I don't want you putting that. I want you to tell me: is it solid in front of you, in front of your chest? But your math gangsters, or is it hollow? Okay, hollow or solid? What is hollow? Hello. 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 It's hollow. Hello. All right. Let me see. What is your point going to be on that? Number line. I know what the answer is, but I don't know where I put it. Most of you are saying, Grace says this. It's going to be a V. <laughs> it's a circle. It's, it's going to be hollow. It's going to be a circle because it is not equal to. There may be fixing my hand. That may be, it's not equal to. So, yes, sir. Uh, I didn't realize you were saying. Hollow. I thought hello. you were saying hello with a hello. strong British accent. No. So what's this? Hello. So it's an open circle over negative two. And what direction do I go? Y uh, uh, is greater than negative two. Forward. That way? No, no. Forward. Forward. It's going to come this way? Yeah. No. No. Negative three is greater than negative no. two. No. 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 Right. Remember when you're talking negatives, it messes with your mind. You got to think opposite. Every time I think the opposite, I think I'm wrong, but right at the same time. Can I give y'all a little hint that I'm hoping that you think about when you're doing these? No, I can't. No. As long as your variable is on the right side. As long as your variable is on the right side, your sign is going to tell you the direction you're going. Did you go that way? Yeah. Aren't you going to the right every single time, though? On these, you are. Less than. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh. Wow. Uh, oh. Ow. Oh. I see now. Do you see your sign's telling you the direction to go? Yeah. No, I was oh, I see it. But only if your variable's are on the right side. Sometimes they're going to jack up with you and they're going to put it on the left side and you got to flip it and plop it. So just if it's on the left side. That's what I hated. Because you had to think about it. Like, Yo, I, I will. Hold up. Hold up. I know what we're going to do. Hold up. Wait, so what if there is no variable and it's a number instead of the Y? There is going to be a variable. There will be a variable and there will be a number. So I'm giving you y is less than or equal to 8. I want you to plot this on your paper. So negative 8. Oh, I thought it was pointing to the left. Y is less than or equal to negative 8. in your heating. Is 
that loud enough that make it make it close or does it make it open? Makes it go like that. Yeah. It closes it up. That's fine. Did you get it, Mr. Malone? Uh, are you getting there? I don't know. Fill in your number line. <laughs> I know. Is it going to be open or closed? Okay. What about you, buddy? Okay, draw your number line first. And then we'll see where it is. Well, there's your cheat sheet, dude. Because, guys, you're going to need that at the top. I brought it out neat as I could so I can look back at it later. Well, shoot, I don't know if that's the number. Let me see if I'm breaking some of the other ones. Huh? It's a solid circle. Which way does it go? How did it go? We can't be awesome like that. How would you do the others? You didn't write them down either. Isn't that weird how I've done all these and you haven't got those down either? The neat handwriting. I just flip over my page and be like, okay. problems. Is it a solid circle? circle? Every, Every part has to be boxed in. Boxed 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 so that way you can read it like easier later. It's all example. Let's see why you look around and try to find out where I actually was. You should teach your class on that page. Look up there. Yes, Ashley. Please do. Did you get it, buddy? Hey, guys. I kind of don't. I can't show pity on you. When that is, those notes are right there on the board, and you're not sure if it's a circle or if it's a solid dot. I cannot feel sorry for you. Right there is the cheat sheet. If you're not writing it down, sucks up. What? You're not a Hoover. I got it. I got it. You got it. Yep. But now you got to plot it. You got to put it on there, just like you. Well, like you didn't do any of these others, but like we did all these others. Okay. Good. Looks good. I need a number line. Okay. I break it usually three times. Don't worry. But but those will help you. I promise. So tell me what these numbers need to be down here. We can make copies of your numbers. <laughs> yeah, they're so neat. Do what? So eight would be the first. The, it right here. Or in the middle. In the middle. Yep. So what would this one be? Negative seven. Negative seven. Six. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Y'all see why we talked about integers before yes. we did inequalities? I went to a oh. Makes sense. That's okay. Hey, I just put five on there just to make it a quick graph. You know, I could have done it. I could have just gone nine and seven. Okay? Open or closed dot. Closed. 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 Because it's equal to. Now, what numbers are going to be less than y? Negative uh, 7. No. No. Negative 7 is greater. Remember, oh, we're talking negative. Neg yeah. When you're talking negatives. So I should come to the right. That's a little confusing. Yeah, it is. I know, I know, because of negatives. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, if you don't have this written, I'm going to give you just a second, and then I'm racing. Second I think the only one that didn't have it was Brayden, and he ain't writing it. So here, let's go. Let's go to our next one. What if I give you... Side, that's so it's neat. on, watch your mouth. It's <laughs> on the other side. It's on the other side. I want you to look up here. Does that even change anything? It, it doesn't change the, what it's saying. But listen to me. Many of you are going to want it. It's going to be like an OCD thing. You're going to need that while on the ride. I mean, on the left. I think I said right over there. But is that a big deal? Can I flip this around? Yeah. I sure can. I sure can. Look, it's just Mr. Terry. We know he looks funny, but we love him anyway. Back up here. Pay attention, guys. He's trying to get us some heat. Now, I can flip it around. You've done math problems before where... It's equals, and then it puts add and subtracting on the other side, and we don't like that, and so we flop it around. Same thing here. But guess what has to happen? If I move this Y, what do I have to do to this sign? Change the sign. 
It's got to flip also. Because Y is less than, do y'all see? That sign has got to keep its nose to Y. It makes so much more sense whenever it's like that. I don't get how it would be harder. It's not, but it's just listen OCD. to me. This, watch this. Because I've told you, as long as the Y is on the left side, that sign will tell you what direction to go in. Guess what? How many of you would have taken yours that way? Because five. How many of you would have said it went this way? I would have went the other way. You would have gone the other way. Well, let's see what happens. Open or close circle? Open. 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 Hello. 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 Now, what number is less than five? Four, three. How many of you would have done this one and made it go that way? I would have too because, Miss Skinner, you've already said if it tells you the way to go, it's pointing the direction. But I also said if. The variable is on the left side. That's what it means. Now, but this says five is greater. So then why? We're not looking for what five is, you know, greater than. What does that mean why is? Less than. Less than. So it had to go this way. Does that make sense? Why the variable has to be on the left side? Jackson. Um, that's why I hesitated before I said what it was and tried to flip, flip it. Yeah. Because I almost put it over there and then I was like, try to trick me. That's why I want you to put it on the left side. Just flop them. Because some of you are not really even going to ask yourself the question about less than or greater than. You're just going to see the sign and go that direction. Yeah. Okay. So what if I give you this one? So, yeah, if it's if, if huh? saying that the variable... I feel like you're going to throw something scary at me. Okay, what did you say, Brayden? I'm sorry. So whenever the variable is supposed to be less than, then it would, then, then it would be going left because, right? right? Because the numbers are smaller and those are the only things that can... You got... Yeah, yes. but this says 5 is greater. So that would be some people saying, well, it says greater than and go that way. But we're not wanting to plot what 5 could be greater than. We're wanting to plot what y is. And y is less, less than. Yeah. Yeah. Will we do this in the future without a variable? No. Always have to have a variable. All right. What if I give you this? Now, please do not shoot me. I'm going to just. Ugh. Ugh. Scary. It's like a horror. It's like a horror movie. Yeah, at Twelve o'clock. Just leave it. I'll get in there. There, I've got packed right there. I can get to it or. Okay. Now listen to me. This is an inequality, but it's inequality set up like an equation. Okay. No, over there under my grade book. All oh, that. Yeah. Is this all been graded? Yeah, that's all been graded. The, there's, it's stacked with the key on top. Because I was going to do it yesterday afternoon after school. I got school. you. I did not. Ah. Okay. I, I decided I wanted to go home. All right. Hey, yourself. We're probably going to have to continue you this tomorrow. You two together. Yes, I tried. We only have 10 minutes. Honey, I, I know, but we're wasting it. Okay. Okay. So 3Y plus 6. Is greater than or equal to 12? Three times something plus six. Now, let me say this real quick. We're still going to have to plot this when we get it done. But we're just going to solve it. So, uh, Just uh, one second before y'all just hang tight. No, I wasn't going to ask a question. Now, you're just talking. Okay. So this is an equation. What is the purpose of solving equations? To find a solution. To find why. To find the solution, we're going to find why. 
So basically, and we know that why we did last night just with another step. You. So we know that why is going to be either. Moses two said, Miss Skinner, it's what we did last night, but you just added another step to it. You got it, Moses. Exactly. So you why, got it, because I, that's well, how I wrote. So why is either going to be two or greater, right? Well, we'll see. We'll see. Now, you good. You, you, you good. So now, watch me. to sign. And at the end, it's got to be a greater than or equal to sign. It means that Y is going to be 2. But I am going to solve this just like it was an equation we did last night. Yep. Just solving it like a normal old equation. Not letting that little old sign throw me off. Okay. So, what is the first thing I have to do here? Uh, you gotta... Okay, but we only have one X, so it's sort of different. What? Get this by itself. So how are we going to do that? That's exactly what we want. We want Y by itself. Talk to me. No, this is blue bird, red bird. Oh, I know. Blue bird, red bird. I know. Subtract six from both sides. Hey, kid, guys, kid on the hip. You see, mama's carrying the kid, and this is the kid on the leg. leg. Who is it easier to get rid of? Leg. Yeah. So we're gonna subtract six from both sides. Why can't you just six and six cancel out? That cancels out. Leaves me three y equals six. Six. Three divided by six is. Then I divide both sides by three. That cancel out left me the Y. Six divided by three is? Two. Now, Brayden already said the answer was two. Yeah, because, I mean, you, I got it. Yeah, you could have just said Now, obvious. So now, isn't it two? Now, I'm going to plot that. Now, some of you may have tried to make a number line and start with three. Six. You've got to wait till you solve the equation before you make a number line. Okay? So, two, three, four, one, zero. Yeah. Are you going to do this with us or are you just chilling? Uh, I've wrote everything. It's just that you just... I don't believe you because when I walked around a while ago, you had none of that other. <laughs> so, open or close circle? Close. Yep, it's got an equal to. So, Y is greater than or equal to 2. What's going to be greater than 2? 13. 13. Okay. So, I need to go to the right. Is the other Yay, right? I understand it. Do you get it? Yeah. Do you I get it? it? Do you get it now? I get it. I All right, we're going to do one more. I told you you were going to throw something that scared me. I didn't try to scary you. It would but it is scary. Well, the only thing well, that would make it worse is if, is if that got bigger. Yeah. I hate that sorry so much. <laughs> yeah, me too. I know it's just dividing, but still. Yeah. It just doesn't look good. Oh, it's ugly. Okay. Okay. Again, I I know the purpose of this is to do what? Two. Two. That's it. And I'm going to go ahead and write it down here using my sign. And I'm going to ignore this and say he is equal. Okay. Try it.
I did something wrong. Mama's on the top bunk, kids on the bottom bunk, and then there's a kid in the floor. Who can mom get go out the door with without disturbing the easiest? The one on the floor. I just did it in my head. Does that okay. count? Well, I just need to show it because you're not always going to be doing it. Anyway. Yes. So, so track me through mm -hmm. from both sides. Show you what. What'd you get? Snoop, doggy dog. Yep, that, that'll get you every time. So now we have to plot this. Who goes in the middle? 27. Then 28, 29. Who goes in front of it? 26 and 25. 26 and 25. That's a lot of numbers. Miss Skinner, I got my multiplication wrong now. I feel stupid. No, it's fine. We all, hey, have, we the, all have those days. I got the <laughs> Just two. dish answer. All right. Is it an open or closed circle? Close. 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 Really? Oh, oh, it is a greater than sign, so it's just an open. Is it going left or right? Uh, oh. I'm not going to say anything. T is greater. Uh, right. Right. T is greater. I got two things wrong now, but I still got it somehow right. 